four days after his execution was abruptly halted so that he could testify before Texas lawmakers, Robert Roberson's chance to speak now on pause. The most important witness, of course, is Robert Roberson. I'm very disappointed to say I don't believe that will happen today. And it didn't because of concerns about transporting a death row inmate to the state capitol. The committee also determined appearing via video conference would not be a good solution in part because his autism makes communicating a challenge. Roberson was convicted for the 2002 death of his two-year-old daughter, Nikki. Roberson is believed to be the first person in the U.S. scheduled to be executed based on a murder conviction connected to shaken baby syndrome. A Texas judge halting Roberson's execution a mere minutes before it was scheduled last Thursday after lawmakers used the unusual tactic of subpoenaing Roberson to testify in front of the committee, which bought him more time. A man's life literally hangs in the balance. Lawmakers on the committee have said the state's junk science law did not work as intended in Roberson's case. The 2013 law allows a person convicted of a crime to have evidence used against them thrown out if that evidence is no longer credible. The American Academy of Pediatrics warns about the dangers of shaking infants, but experts have challenged shaken baby syndrome used in criminal cases from decades ago when the science was less understood. Roberson's lawyers argued new evidence suggests Nikki died of pneumonia, made worse by medication. Supporters, including TV personality Dr. Phil McGraw, speaking at the hearing today. I am 100 percent convinced that we're facing a miscarriage of justice here. Once Roberson does testify, prosecutors could seek a new execution date. The Texas Parole Board rejected pleas to grant clemency. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Los Angeles.